Hello and welcome to Star Citizen. My name is Even Lease, and today on 10 Minutes or Less Ship Review, I'm taking a look at the Buccaneer, a light fighter from Drake. Let's go ahead and get into it. Starting off with the Life Fighter from Drake, the Buccaneer, I'm going to go ahead and discuss the price of this ship. Inside and outside of the game, you're looking at $110 if you were to pledge for it on the store. And then inside of the game, it's $1,410,100 AUEC. Now, there is a good potential that that price will go up for update 3.23, as there is an economy change coming that is going to up the price of most of the ships in the game and some of the ships in the game it will drop the price. We don't know what ships are going to be dropped and what are going to go up and by how much or by how little, <laughs> but we do know there is a price change coming, so expect that. Your top SCM speed is 210 with a max of 1,317, probably because of these massive engines on here. <laughs> But outside of the speed of this ship, let's go ahead and get into the weapons package because this ship primarily focuses on its weapons. This ship was made to hit above its weight class and it can definitely do that because it has quite the armament. On the top, you can see up there, it's got a size 4 gun, the Revenant Ballistic Gatling Gun. Now that's a size 4. Not the best size 4 you could put up there, but it's a size 4 nonetheless, and that's probably where you get the staggering DPS stock at 2,465 DPS. That's an insane amount of DPS on this ship. The entirety of this ship puts out that much DPS, not including the missiles because they do their own damage, but that's not just due to that gun on the top. There's also a gun on each wing, and that would be two size 1 Yellow Jacket two, uh, GT-210s right here. And then on the inside, you do have two size 3 CF-337 Panthers. Pretty massive amount of firepower. <laughs> you can change this ship, and I'll discuss upgrades with you real quick. You can change this ship to stay in the fight for longer, absolutely. Because one of your biggest disadvantages of the wing guns and the gun on top, very limited ammo. Now that might change in 3.23 with master modes, but... That gun on the top, as of right now, I would get rid of it and put the AD-4B Ballistic Gatling Gun up there, and then you're going to be sitting at about 1,200 rounds instead of 240, because the Revenant has 240. And then these side guns here, you could, you know, leave them alone if you want limited ammo, but I would probably just put size 1 laser repeaters there and, you know, have a package of mostly laser repeaters and then the size 4 ballistic gatling up there now do remember when you do have that ballistic gatling it does shoot slower than your laser repeaters so until 3.23 you could potentially be shooting behind your target with that gatling gun because your crosshairs might be aligned to your laser repeaters the rounds shoot slower i mean by the way not the actual gun itself so the rounds will be flying at approximately 1,400 meters a second with the lasers and then around 700 meters a second with the ballistic gatling. So there's a massive difference there. So you got to always be wary of that. Maybe change your grouping. You can do that if you were to go on your MFDs inside your cockpit. You can change your grouping of what fires from what mouse button. Do that. Put the gatling gun on one, you know, and the rest on the other. And that would be what I would do for upgrades. Of, other than the shields, of course, and the engine, uh, not the engine, but the power source. Now, talking about the shields, you do have two size 1 shields, and it gives you a total of 3,000 shield HP. Now, that shield HP is a bubble shield, so no matter where you get hit on this ship, it's going to take from the entirety of that shield HP. So, be very wary of that when you're getting attacked. It doesn't matter if they're shooting at the front of you, your entire shield will eventually go down. And with only 3,000 HP, it's going to go down pretty quick. Now, this ship does have 10,580 ship HP. And it's not the best amount of ship HP, but it's also not the worst. You know, it's a light fighter. It's not supposed to have a ton of HP on it. But it's also got, you know, quite a bit on there. 
especially since it's a drake and it's held together by duct tape. So, <laughs> I mean, that's a good amount of HP for a drake ship. <laughs> uh, speaking of duct tape, this ship, it's drake. So it has its, you know, looks to it. It's got two massive engines on it, engines that don't look like they belong on a ship like this. And then it has a massive gun on the top and it looks like it's been pieced together in certain areas it's still a really cool looking ship and it just outputs the damage which is crazy uh now does it handle taking damage too well i you know it's a small ship and if it gets hit by like one rocket it takes out half your systems right um i got i brought this thing into a fight and i got hit by two rockets and i was already out of the fight it took out one of my engines and it was crazy and rockets right now are kind of unavoidable when they're being shot at you so it, this ship is kind of limited if you get hit right off the bat by a missile but you know what you know what they say do your best to avoid and you might have something here because this is a fantastic ship uh when you're jumping around you only have 583 quantum fuel but hey you have quantum fuel on this thing so you have a quantum drive that's all that matters it's not another fury so that's great this thing i'd say competes with the arrow but honestly like it it's intended to do it can hit above its weight class you can definitely go after something like a cutlass or a freelancer or something bigger and do a considerable amount of damage if not take out their target especially since if you take out that gun on the top you know if you switch up something up there which, speaking of that and upgrades, you can actually take that size 4 mount off and swap it with a um, size 2 double spinal mount. So basically, it's a spinal mount that has two size 2 guns on there. Would you want to do that? I probably wouldn't, personally. I like the idea of having that size. You know, it depends, though, because the ammo speed's kind of hit and miss, right? But I personally like having a size 4 up there. It looks evil. <laughs> it looks very evil. Um, it's got rockets, you know, it's got four of them, two Tempest 2 missiles and two Temp, uh, Ignite 2 missiles. So four missiles all together, two on each wing, good amount of missile damage there. Not the biggest missile payload, but you know, again, life fighter missiles are held on by, you know, duct tape and bolts and probably going to fall off if you're not too careful. Uh, outside of that, it's a great ship. <laughs> it's a Drake ship everybody loves drake even if it's not the most pretty designs it's rugged and it feels lived in it feels blue collar it feels ready to go and ready for any fight even if you're gonna be limping away pretty quickly in certain situations let's hop into the cockpit here take a look you do have a plethora of <laughs> information in this ship you have four mfds and one radar screen in front and then outside of that I mean, like I said, it, it's just here. <laughs> I, a lot of these, you know, it's typical of Drake that their systems look like they shouldn't be in here. <laughs> uh, it's a it's a good ship, though. It's got some speed to it. I was trying to see if there's an ejector, but for some reason, things are just not moving correctly. As you can see on the right side of the screen, you do have all your, you know, information here. Your capacitors on the Panthers are 84 when you have your power triangle set normal. And then your Revenant, of course, 240 rounds. Your Yellow Jacket's at 200 or 320. It's not much ammo. It really isn't for the ballistics. Laser repeaters, those are fantastic. I love that. And then, like you just saw, if I have my power triangle up to 100, it brings that at 126 rounds. That's crazy. <laughs> you have 48 decoys, 5 noise. And honestly, what would I rate this ship? Well, as a stock ship, I'm going to rate it an 8 out of 10. Just because, as you can see on my screen right now, I'm really out of ammo. I decided to go out and try fighting with it. It performed really well, but it performed only for a matter of just a moment before you're stuck with just using your Panthers. And then this ship becomes quite difficult to take down anything that has a good amount of shield or ship HP. So, honestly, stock, 8 out of 10. Upgraded with some different weapons, get rid of the yellow jackets, change that revenant to an 84B, and you got a potentially much better ship. Then I would rate it probably closer to a you know nine or a ten out of ten. But currently, stock eight out of ten. Uh, it's got great DPS. It's just very short lived. And then 
you know, decent ship HP, okay shield HP. Bubble kind of kills it a little bit, but you get what you get for a light fighter, right? <laughs> Price point is pretty decent, but yep, that's what I would give it. Let me know what you think of this ship down in the comments below. Do you have this ship? Would you use it over an Arrow, a Gladius, a... Uh, Talon, uh, any of the fighters that are kind of in the price point in the area. And if not, why? <laughs> well, thanks guys for watching again. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.